it's a really sensitive topic and it offends everybody. And that's why I know it's the thing that needs to be addressed. Because if you are a man and you haven't ruined your life yet, you are the fucking prize. And don't let any of these dumb hoes tell you otherwise. Because if you're a man that is six feet or over, that makes $80,000 a year or more, that isn't married, that isn't obese, you are in a category of less than 1% of the male population in America. That's how fucking rare you are. So don't listen to all these fucking people say, oh, well, you need to be this way. You need to be more uh, compassionate. You need to be more, less shallow. You need to be, you know, more sacrifice, sacrifice yourself for us. No, 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 no. They're a dime a dozen. You now have your pick. You can have a harem if you want. And a lot of guys don't realize that because they're like lions who have listened to the fucking sheep tell them why their behavior is so wrong and all that stuff. And now the line's like, oh, I've got to try to fit into the sheep so nobody gets upset. It's not going to work, man. Eventually, you're going to come out of it. It's just how bad are you going to fuck your life up before you come out of it? And I would rather people not fuck their lives up and come out of it so they don't have to go through what I went through of losing sleep, of becoming unproductive, of being at work and being absolutely depressed and miserable and thinking about all this other shit. And then knowing, you know, it's, it's bad. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to go through that process. So the way you don't go through that process is by having options. So if one girl leaves you, there's like a ton left. If you want to be monogamous, you never, you know, if you don't want to be monogamous, you're going to be able to spin plates all you want and um, just, you know, have your pick of the, the litter, if you will.